Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and today's video is, well, very new. Um, everything about this is really new, so how about we just go ahead and address the elephant in the room, which is the quality of the video, number one, and then the background, also number two. Um, yeah, so... I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story about why the camera quality is better because I did get a new camera and I do have obviously a new background toast over here and yeah so let's just go ahead and talk about that. The other day I was recording a video, it was actually the unboxing video um, and I dropped my camera in a dirty bucket of fish water in this bucket right here. So yeah, I dropped my camera in there and I broke it. I was so upset, so nervous and worried. Like I did not know it, like at all what I was gonna do. Um, and luckily it ended up being a blessing in disguise because I got this amazing camera right here, one that I've been really, really wanting, like basically like a dream camera, like what it, like all I could want. Um, and I was able to get that thanks to my first YouTube paycheck and the help of my mother. So I was able to get this and I'm super excited about it. And she also helped me set up this backdrop as well by Toast and I have Steve back here. So I have that now and I really hope you guys like it. I really hope you guys like the improved quality which I felt like it was time for anyway. Um, and I hope you guys like the new background. Let me know down below. But other than that, today's video is super exciting which I'm sure you can already, I'm sure you can already tell from the title that this is super exciting and has to do. Um, with my dream tank as well. So I have not added sun drop yet. I'm waiting to let the tank cycle a little bit more because it did come with some Biostar that I have been putting in there. And with the live plants and the sand and everything like that, I really wanted to make sure that it had some things in there to make sure the algae stayed down because I really want to try to control and manage algae. So I decided that the perfect thing to do would be to get some snails and shrimp. So today I went to Petco, I have to travel to get there, I do not have a Petco in my town, so I actually traveled the little length to get to Petco and got two Nyrite snails and three ghost shrimp, which I'm super excited about. I love ghost shrimp, I've had them before, um, I normally have mystery snails, but one fact just throw out there, mystery snails can actually eat live plants, so if you're wanting something for your tank that will not eat your beautiful live plants that you're trying to keep healthy, then definitely go for Nyrite Racer Snails. They're gonna be a lot more better for your tank um, in the sense of they're not gonna eat the plants. So I got two that I absolutely fell in love with today, which by the way, I'm gonna insert some pictures um, of me actually in Petco, picking them out and such. Um, I really love them. I'm excited and I got three baby really small ghost shrimp like before I've had some pretty big ones but these are small y'all um, but I'm super excited about them and we're gonna put them in my dream tank today of course sun drop isn't in there yet I lay in bed at night and look at the tank and I'm like so excited for when I'm actually gonna put sun drop in there like I just lay there and imagine it and now I'll have some really cute snails and ghost shrimp to see I was kind of getting tongue-tied there ghost shrimp to see um, swimming around in the tank and I call like the ghost shrimp like that they're bicycling because that's what it looks like to me but I'm anxious to see them in there and I really hope Sundrop will like his new friends too. Maybe they'll keep him occupied and busy because uh, he has never seen anything like that before. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. I have them right down here. So here is the bag with the Nyrite snails. I don't know if it's going to focus but here they are. I absolutely am so excited. One of them has polka dots on him and I named him Gus and the other one's name is Woodson. The one with polka dots to me looked like wood but I had already named him Gus in the store so the other one's Wilson. Woodson, not Wilson. Anna, really? Anyway, Gus and Woodson. And then I have my three ghost shrimp in here. They are so small. There's like no way you're gonna be able to really see them but they're in here. They don't have names yet. Um, but yeah, and also the other day I actually out of recommendation from a few people I got recommendation about a plant like a flourish tab that will help keep your live plants healthy And since I am definitely not experienced in live plants and stuff like that I definitely knew that I needed to 
get some stuff to put in there for them so they will not die. So took the recommendations and I ordered on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime here. The Flourish Root Tabs, I think is what they're called. So I gotta do those as well if I can even get this open. I don't know if there's scissors around here. There should be scissors. Let's see. I can even get it open. Oh, I think I got it. Did I get it? Yep. Awesome. Alrighty. Yeah, right here. So I got these. They are by Seachum. They're supposed to be really, really good. So I'm going to hope that they are. And I'm excited to try them. They're just gravel bed supplement for the planted aquarium. Micro elements, trace elements, and other nutrients. So yeah, um... Let's see, it says, tabs or tablets decide, designed to be inserted in the gravel of a freshwater plant at the aquarium to provide sustained source of important plant nutrients. So I'm going to try these out and see how these go, which I will let you guys know, of course, because I'm trying to keep this new tank very, very healthy since it is my dream tank. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's try to get these snails in acclimating. Let's get the shrimp in acclimating and i'll do this later as well okay so to me she packaged the snails really weird i don't know if it's gonna focus but she packaged the snails really weird so they don't even have much water anyway and i think it's best to go ahead and get them in my tank so i'm gonna go ahead and add the snails to the tank since she packaged them up weird and then i'm gonna let the shrimp acclimate um just so they can get used to the water but the snails i've literally never seen anyone package them the way she did which i found to be really weird so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there now. Here is Woodson. And here is Gus who is literally always on the move. And there we go. I'm going to let them acclimate for a while. And here are my snails. As you can see, this little one now is crawling across the sand. Super, super cute. And here is Gus. It's going to focus. Needs to focus. But there he is. Beautiful, beautiful. And the other two are back there. And I don't even know. Oh, and then Woodson is inside of the skull. Look at this little bean. I think I may name him Bean. That littlest one is named Bean. So now I've got Woodson. Well, actually, no, I don't want to name him Bean. I don't know what I'm going to name him. I'm going to be thinking of names for them, but any hoozles, they're getting out it fast. I love watching ghost shrimp move around. They literally remind me of bicycles. And he's the only one getting at it, too. The rest are like, nope. So they're all in here safe and sound now and I'm really excited just to see how good they do and really hope that they do good. There's one back there. I think that may be the little one. I 
really hope you enjoy getting to see my newest family members get to join their tank and now I'm just really excited to see how much Sundrop actually likes having them there because he's never seen anything like that before. It's going to be super exciting and that will definitely be in a later video but I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope that you enjoy my new camera quality, my setup, whatever. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. Also, video ideas. Let me know down below what kind of videos you would like to see from me. I would love to know. Um, your feedback means a lot to me. And yeah, so other than that, please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to add me on Snapchat at It's Anna Louise 20 where you can see more updates of my fish, my animals, and just me. And other than that, please subscribe to my channel, which you can do by hitting my face right here. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here. And it would mean the world to me if you would do so. And I hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever you may be watching this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.